Okay, hey guys, I've come on to have a play with you um, with an empty margarine container. Now, I had a little bit of a play this morning and it seemed to work out okay. So I'm still experimenting. Um, so I thought I would share the process of my experimentation with you guys. Um, so these are the pieces that I have left. I have the lid and a little bit of the side. Um, now, most of the margarine containers that I have, I use to store things in. Like this one here, I store my bling um, and bits and pieces. And I have another one with nuts and bolts and washers and, you know, all sorts of things like that, etc., um, etc. Cetera, et cetera. So this one I thought I would run through my embossing folder. Now it looks awesome just the way it is, it doesn't it? Um, this one is just a generic um, embossing folder that I picked up from the $2 shop. Um, so there's no brand attached, it was just hanging on the shelf. So there's that one. And then I've got a Spellbinders. Um, which is this one. I purchased this off eBay um, and I've used that on this side. So, let me just move them out of the way. Okay, so what I plan on doing is um, using some Sharpies on here and some permanent markers etc because I don't have alcohol inks um, to play with so if you have alcohol inks um, you can use those all I have is this so this is what I'm using um, and I've run it through the embosser now this bit of plastic on the side of the margarine tin seems like to be a different plastic to this because this is more, oh, I don't know, it's not oily because I have washed it, but it's more uh, glossy than this. This is like a matte gloss, if that makes sense. Whereas this one's, yeah, very glossy. So your alcohol inks might work a little bit better than the Sharpies. Um, like I said, I don't know because I don't have alcohol inks. So I'm just using what I have. So I'm just going to colour in a little bit of my margarine plastic. Have a little bit of yellow there, maybe a little bit here, a little bit here. And maybe just a little bit up here. Okay, next um, some blue. Let's do a bit of blue. Maybe a little bit here. it down here. Maybe you can see, okay, sorry about the glare. Um, unfortunately, this is a gloss plastic and there's a light, so there's not much I can do about it. Um, so we'll use this as like a purple, this one. Um, I'm just using this as a drop sheet, so to speak. What else have I got? This is some green. Oh, that's okay. I can leave it like that. Maybe a little bit here. Some green. Maybe some red. Now this is the first time I've used this one. I only just found this. So we will, um, actually it's more of an orange, there we go, 
So what we'll do is see how this works. Um, so yes, I have not used this one yet. And pink. Now you don't have to colour it all in because I'll show you in a minute. So it's just roughly where you want your colours to show up. Um, whoop. So, whoop, and I might as well do a little bit here because it told me it wanted to go there, obviously. All right, so I think I've got all the colours. Um, I might put a little bit of purple just in there, even though you know, just because I can. Okay, now I don't have any alcohol, so to speak, or um, I don't know what that. I don't know what people use, honestly. Um, like rubbing alcohol or anything like that. I have nothing like that. So this is just methylated spirits in this bottle. Um, I thought I'd experiment with this this morning, and it seems to work great. So. Um, let's go. So we just spray the methylated spirits onto there. And I actually love the smell of metho because, um, I don't know, I just do. I'm a meth head, guys. No, I'm only joking. I'm not. <laughs> so we just, look at this. We just do that. Now, like I said, your alcohol inks and whatever you use should be amazing like honestly, but this is what I have, so this is what I'm using, and I've just messed that corner up, but that's okay, so I'm just going to um, grab a cloth here, and I'm just going to lightly mop up some of this excess alcohol from, well not alcohol, but runny stuff from the corners here, um, onto this baby wipe so I'm not touching the actual um, thing I I'm just mopping it up if that makes sense just to get rid of that excess flow oh, that looks amazing guys I just love that I love it um, I love it a lot So I'm just going to help the um, drying process by getting out my heat gun. I'm not getting too close to the um, plastic guys because it will melt. So I'm just drying that a little bit. Let me just run that off and I'll I'll use the rest of it. Oh, sorry, I'm off camera. Oh, I'm not very good at this. All right, so. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Doesn't that look gorgeous? All right. Actually, I want a little bit of that darkness up in here if I can manoeuvre that. Just to cross that yellow. Just to. Just because. Okay, slow moving because it's drying. Oh, look at that. There we go. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Okay, sorry, guys. I'm just going to tip it this way. I don't have to, but I want to. Okay, there we go. So, I'll just help the drying process again. Not getting too close because we don't want that to, um, to melt. Um, right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this aside after I've let this run down. Look at that. So if we, imagine if you let that dry properly, it wouldn't cook the, um, the inks, I guess. But that's just um, amazing. I love it. Look, there we go. So I'm going to just pop this up here um, on this shelf, aka 
laptop to dry. Um, and I'm going to now use um, some permanent um, st like inks, like this stuff. So what I might do is use maybe those two, I think. Yes, because I have tried the brown, the ganache. I will um, show you that shortly. So I'm going to try these and I'm also going to put some mica um, powder on top. Now I've got some little tiny bits of mica powder. You can use eyeshadow. I was looking for some eyeshadow today to show you, but I can't find it. I don't know what I've done with it. Um, it's the same stuff. It contains um, most eyeshadows. I think I've got that mica -y glitter to it these days. So um, yeah, eyeshadow will work just as well. So let's experiment with these stamps. So what I might do is do a little bit of this. Oh, that looks awesome just the way it is. Look at that. Look. Look at that, guys. Amazing. Love it. All right, and I'm just going to use a, just a little bit of dark there. Now, actually, I might put a little bit more of that on. And I'm going to give it a spray and see if this works. Like I said, it's just um, methylated spirits because I don't have um, rubbing alcohol or whatever it is everyone uses. Um, I have no idea. So, all right, I reckon I need a little bit more on there. I didn't put enough for my liking, so I'm going to just give it a quick dry because I don't want metho through my ink pads. So, um, I'm just going to give this a quick, a quick dry. without melting my lid, which come close, I can tell you. All right, let's, right. Now, I might put, hmm, I don't know. Which color do I like the most on there, the dark? I can always bring the light upwards, can't I? No, I'm going to do it the other way. I'm going to have this. Yeah, so we need to smother this, guys. Like I said, I'm still experimenting. So, um, let me have looks see. A bit of keep missing. I keep getting everywhere but where I want it to go. So, let me a little bit more on there. And I just want to make this run around. Oh, yeah. There we go. Look at that, guys. Beautiful. All right. Give that a quick dry. Okay, while that's drying the rest of the way, because I don't want it to um, melt, I'll have a look at this. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Isn't that just amazing? I love it. Um, it's a little bit wet there. So I'll just give it a quick blast. Okay, sorry, I had to disappear for a second. Um, this looks like a spaceship. <laughs> Doesn't that look cool? I love it. it. Looks like a little spaceship or a space gun or, or something. Amazing. Yeah, that's not going to dry. So I'll just let that dry on its own. It's just right in here. 
Um, and let me have another look at this. Let's have a look. Are we dry? We look dry. Yep. Yep, there's no marks on my hands. So I'm just going to run this dark just over the top now that that's dry and just give it a little bit more definition here and there. Um, I'll give that a quick, very quick dry because I want to be able to get my purple. Now which purple will I use? How about I try a bit of both? I'll try this one and that one. I'll just make sure it's off the lid. I don't want it to um, spill out because it's very, very fine. And I just want to go over the top of these um, risen areas here while it's still a bit sticky. Is that going to show up? Yeah, it does. You probably can't see it on camera. I'll show you a proper look in a minute. Um, but believe me, it's there. So. I am going to use this purple as well. It's more of a pink. Um, see if that shows up a little bit more. Yeah, that one does. All right. Now I might try the darker one because yeah, something's just not right. I had the vision in my head, but putting it down and real is a different matter, huh? But it's okay. Oh, that's a dark purple. And that's the one I wanted. Look at that. That's the one I wanted. Alright. So now that I've done that. I'm going to chop them up. Now I'm not sure whether you can see if you can see the purple shimmer on some of those bits there. Beautiful. So let's um, chop this one up. Now I want to make some tags you can make circle tags I guess you can run it through the embossing machine and cut out your tag shapes um, <clears throat> I like mine cut by hand so what I might do is grab one that I've done previously and yeah so I'll just draw around the shape of that. I'll see how many I can fit on here um, this size because this is the size I'm after. I need a pen of course, finding a pen is half the battle. All right. So you could use your die cuts and cut out tags um, I like mine cut out by hand. So that's just me. It's because I don't want them perfect. I want them a little bit higgledy piggledy so people know that they're handmade.
So let's see how many I can get out of here. So there's that. And can I fit one more in? No, but I do have a use for that. I'll show you those other ones later. Let's do this. And I have one fly buzzing around and it is annoying me. Bloody flies. All right. Just got to turn this on the angle so I can see the lighting. It's a little bit. Difficult. So let's get rid of that. That. And that. And I will round the corner with a um chomper very soon. There's another one, and last but not least, now sitting here making embellishments, and I went upstairs to make a cup of coffee, and I saw this up on the kitchen bench. Um, that I rinsed out last night and I thought oh, I'm going to take that down with me so I got squirreled and here we are <laughs> here we are okay so where is my circle punch now this is the biggest one I have I think this is um, an inch I think have a look. yeah one it one inch punch so let's see if this will cut through, shall we? Easy peasy. Look at that. Okay. There's two. Will I get another one? Maybe. It's right on the edge there. There we go. Three. Now, if you wanted to um, use up the rest of this, you could make some little ones. That's if this will go through. There we go. No problems. And one more. And I might get one more here. So you can't waste stuff. All right, let's have a look. There we go. So there is that. So we've got little tiny, teeny, weeny, weeny little tags or embellishments to stick in your journals. Um, not those. So they're, they're the, the one inch circles. Here are my tags. Let me just run these through my punch. See if this cheapo one will get through it without breaking. Let's have a look. Just so a cropper dial would probably be better, but these do do work. There we go. So there's some tags. All right. Oh, I love them. I really love them, guys. I love them, love them, love them. Lots. Okay. Aren't they just so pretty? And then you could put little embellishments on them or little pictures or stamps or book pages and do whatever you want to do to them. Oh, my God, the sky's the limit. Okay, now there's this one here. This is still, you're still wet. No, it just looks wet. Okay, so we do the same thing, yeah? Let's do it. 
So let's cut out some tags. I don't want to chop my spaceship up, but I'm going to have to, I think. All right, let's just let's just do it. All right. So try and get as close as we can to the edges. Uh -uh. Let's take that off. And let me go around. Don't you dare draw on the surface. You should be using the back railing. Use the back. Uh, let's have a look. So there's one. So if I get a circle out of that one, maybe. Um, can I fit two? Ooh. There we go. So if I go that way. So there's that. And one here. It's going to be a little bit shorter on one side, but that's okay. Whoops. Oh, and I drew on it. Oh, I drew on it. Okay, let's do that. So there's three tags on this. Let's trim straight up there like so. Just cut this out. This is where a die cut would probably come in good if you want to cut straight because I can't cut straight to save my life, guys. <laughs> no. Let's have a look down. I'm flat out seeing what I'm doing. So, is that, oh, I've got some of my spaceship on there. It's a very gloomy tag, but that's okay. It'll look good in a Halloween journal or a, um, I don't know, some other freaky journal. That's what I reckon. Right, let me just tidy that up. There's a sharp edge there. There we go. So there's that one. And we have that one. Now for this one. There we go. And can I get a circle out of that? Actually, I like that just as is. Because you could make um like a, a long tag or leave it as is and make it a tuck spot or something. Yeah, that would be cool. So I might do that. I might use that as a um a tuck spot in a journal. That's what I reckon. I do, I do. And look, oh, here's one. It's a little teeny weeny weeny tag. Let's do it. Let's just make this into a, a weeny one. There we go. we go okay where's my chomper I need my chomper I need my chomper so I'm going to put that on the small corner setting um, so there's that and then we got that I love you <laughs> that's I'm chomping the corners because um, 
the plastic is a little bit pointy and sharp. Um, I actually like you. Look at that. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> Need to empty my chomper out. It's a little bit full. All right. So there we go, guys. That is my tag experimentation. Okay, I'm going to try and put the um, holes in the same spot. Um, yeah, that one I won't. Ah, see that? That was a slip. Oh gosh, concentrate, Rayleigh, get with the program. All right, there we go. So there's that, that's a weenie one. I'll have to use a little a punch for that one. I do have a small one. It is uh, here. So this is a teeny weenie. I'm just going to take this off because yeah. I'll tell you what. I prefer to be able to see where I'm punching my holes and I always do it backwards so I can see where the um, hole is going to go. And you didn't go through. Why didn't you go through? Hey, why didn't you go through? There we go. All right. So there we have it, guys. We have our lovely little tags that we made. Aren't they just gorgeous? I love it. And our little round tags. Okay, let me get rid of this and I'll put a bit of white something down so you can see how awesome everything is. I'll get rid of that plate there. Alrighty. Let's bring this bit of linen over. There we go. These are the ones that we've just made here. Um, the permanent sharpies, like the permanent markers, will scratch off this plastic. Um, see how it started to scratch off a little bit there. Um, but that's okay because um, I found that if you have a sealer, um, like a gloss spray or something like that, you can, painting it on would probably work just as well. Um, you can seal the colours in. So these are the ones that I've done previously. As you can see, they're a little bit more glossier, but aren't they gorgeous? They are so yummy. So once these have been sprayed, they will look um, glossy. So there's those. Um, the ink does scratch off, but it's not as bad as this. But like I said, your uh, alcohol inks might work better. So just have a play. Um, and these are the ones that I've done with the ganache with some gold um, mica on them. Aren't they just gorgeous? So there we go. So out of one margarine container, um, the lid and the side, um, you can get how many tags? So we've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen tags, one mini winnie tag and some of them. So there we go. So that's out of one margarine container. Now the bottom of it is here. Oh, hang on, I forgot one. There we go. There's another one. So 14. It fell out. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, and some mini ones. Um, the bottom is here. So I'm just using that for now just to put my 
some a couple of stamps in it because I was using them in my embellishment so that's the bottom um, of the container so there we go guys um, I hope you've enjoyed I hope it's given you some inspiration um, and it's made you want to go and play um, because I'll tell you what I've had some fun <laughs> it's, it's awesome I love it I really love these um, I'm going to go and give these a spray of gloss now um, and I'll show you the finished results so I will be back okay we are back and I've given those a coat of clear spray varnish um, so this is how they have turned out so that should protect the surface of that um, sharpie ink a little bit more God, aren't they just amazing I love them and look at that so that will definitely become a tuck spot um, in a journal and then we have our little weenie tags here so this is what I made earlier and this is what we've made together so out of one margarine container beautiful little what is it beautifulness <laughs> scrum diddly umptious so anyway guys um, thanks for watching I hope it gave you some inspiration um, and look at junk in a whole different way so um, until the next video guys give your loved ones a hug they're precious and I shall talk to you all soon bye for now